Hey guys, it's Matt here. And today I will be showing you guys how to enable the battery percentage on iPod touches. Now for anyone who is confused on why I haven't uploaded anything in a little while, just before we start the video here real quick, the reason why I haven't is because, well, I've been overloaded with a ton of crap. There's just been stuff that's happened that I'm not going to re-explain again. Go to the discussion tab on my YouTube channel. You'll see an entire paragraph of what I did or what's been going on there. Um, and you can reply, you can interact with it, whatever, I'll read it. But yeah, that's basically why I haven't been posting in a while. And chances are I'm not going to be posting until after Christmas. And that video will definitely very, be very interesting. So stay tuned. So first, you're going to need to download a utility called iBackupBot. And I'll put a link to it in the description uh, what is it? Right, right here. You're going to need this utility. So first, open that utility up. It, should, uh, it shouldn't do that, but... Um, there we go, it'll bring that up. So, what you're gonna wanna do, and I'm gonna unplug this device because I don't need it here. Oh, it just crashed. Yeah, it's not the most stable. What you're going to want to do is plug in your iPod Touch. I'm gonna be using a fourth gen, although you can use any iPod Touch, the first gen through, you can use any iPod Touch, the first gen through the sixth gen for this. It will work just fine. So plug in the iPod that you want to use. You can hear mine made the chime. So what you're gonna want to do is go into the finder um, if you're on Mac OS Catalina or later, you can do this and then click on your iPod touch in the sidebar Now it might bring up a dialogue saying you need to trust this device I'm on an old enough iPod where it will not do that So what you're gonna want to do is take, make a backup You're gonna want to make sure that it is set to backup all the data on your iPod to this Mac You're gonna want to set this make sure that the encryption uh, right here is disabled and to Click backup now you're gonna be modifying the backup here. So you're gonna to need to well, obviously create a backup first, and wow, this is going fast. <laughs> and it's done. I did not speed that up, that was real time. So reopen backup bot, it, or iBackup bot, it should pop up the backup on the side. Okay. Yeah, it's probably because I don't have it set to allow full disk access. So that on you're gonna to want to do this uh, if it does the same problem you're gonna to want to do that there we go so now it's been given access to the folder you can see the files right here you're gonna click this and click on the system files folder right here and then search for com.apple.springboard.plist it should be right here there might be two of them and if there is select the one with the biggest size in kilobytes it's gonna pop up this right here and all you have to do to enable this is create a new line and copy and paste the text that you see in the description uh, or you can just type it whatever you find I'll probably I'll I'll put it on the screen as well you're gonna want to type in exactly the way I do you're going to want to do this you're gonna want to type in key then you're gonna to want to type SB show battery level there we go right that and then you're going to do this. You're going to put the word key again, except put a slash in front of it. And then you're going to want to type in the word true in the same kind of format as the word key. You're going to want to write the word true slash and then close. So that's all you need to do. What you're going to want to do is click on the save button right here and then click the power button, which this, this is not, this is, this just closes the document. What you're then going to want to do is click on this file right here and then you're gonna to wanna to restore this. Click on this button right here, restore. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this box is checked. Make sure that this box is not checked because then you'll only restore this one file and it will delete, it'll wipe the device. So don't do that. Um, and check you, this box is optional. Um, you can copy it if you want to, it doesn't matter. So just click okay. What you'll see on your device is it will say restore complete. And once the device loads again, you'll probably see an Apple logo with a progress bar. That is, this is normal. So just wait for it to reboot. You'll see the Apple logo. And man, this is really bright on the camera. So as you can see on my screen, you can now see we have a battery percentage up in the corner here. Now, first of all, I've got a couple of disclaimers. Don't expect this battery percentage up here to be incredibly accurate. The controllers in these devices were not really designed for the battery percentage to be there. So 
don't expect that it's going to be all that accurate. Secondly, being a backup utility that's not authorized by Apple, you might experience errors. And that's also completely normal. Now for that, if you experience, it just crashed. If you experience errors with the utility, then I would just recommend that you restart. Uh, you can either just try restarting your computer. Sometimes that helps, but I would try using a different computer, maybe recreating the backup kind of thing. I do remember at one point this would not succeed for me and I had no idea why. Otherwise, that's it for this video. It was a pretty short one. If you liked the video, then give me a like. And if you like the content that you've seen here, if you've seen other videos, uh, that you do like, go ahead and hit, <laughs> go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it was a pretty short video, but not really much I can do about that. Uh, along with since you know the crap has been happening, go look in the go look in the discussion tab, whatever. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you all later. Bye guys.